Hi, this is ICT8. We're going to be looking at the Wacky Faces assignment. So you need to import two photos and we're going to blend them together. So the requirements of these photos is we want to have a headshot. So nothing with a full body shot. We want to concentrate the pixels on just the face. Okay, so you can do a bust shot, which is including a bit of the shoulders. But we don't want to include much more than that. We want our photos to be at least a thousand pixels wide. Okay. And to choose photos that are challenging, you want to have photos that have slightly different skin tones. You want to have the rotation facing the same way, otherwise, the nose won't line up properly. So you can't have a nose that's pointed out this way and match it with a nose that's straight on. They have to have the same, what we call, rotation. So the head has to be twisted in the same direction. What we want to do is pick heads that have a slightly different tilt, so tilting sideways. So we can see that the eyes follow this line, and the eyes follow this line, so they are slightly tilted. Okay, and that will give you the most marks by picking different skin tones and different tilts, but the same rotation. And to make your life easier, you want to pick shadows that are also in the same direction. So the shadow is on this side of Barack's face, and the shadow is slightly on this side of Selena's face. And we want to pick pictures where we want to line up the eyes and the mouth. Okay, so let's take a look at some other pictures. So, this face with this face is not a good idea because there's rotation here. The nose is pointed slightly towards our left. His nose is straight on. So these two faces would be good because it's challenging. They're both facing directly forward and this one has a slight tilt this is horizontal okay we could do this face and this face they have the same rotation however you can see the shadow here and the light is over on this side so it's casting a shadow this way and it's kind of from below and it's casting the shadow upwards this one has the light on this side but it's the light's slightly above and it's casting a shadow downwards. So you will not be able to match the lighting on this properly and it would be very challenging. Okay, we could technically do these two. There's some challenges there too. The shadow is on this side of the face. The shadow is on this side of the face. And this one is mostly facing forward. There's a slight rotation to this side, um, but it's possible. Okay, and these are definitely all face shots. We probably don't want the face that's cut off. This is better because it has a little bit of the shoulders. This is good. It has some of the shoulders. And the faces are relatively level. If you look at this one, the camera is slightly above the face and shooting down, so it won't line up with faces that are level with the camera. Okay, you could pick this face and this face. The shadows aren't lined up, but we could do something called a horizontal flip. So for extra challenge, you can pick a shadow that's on one side and the other side and do more work. And again, just check the horizontal width is at least a thousand pixels. So this picture is not large enough. This picture is not large enough. That picture is not large enough. This picture is good. This picture is large enough, but it's not correct. And that's how we choose pictures. Make sure you click on it and grab the full size and not the thumbnail. And that completes this lesson.